Hello everybody, this is the uh, nine hair wash. Uh, now you can see the uh, hair dandruff or the shields are still uh, on the planted area. Uh, actually, uh, until or during the eight uh, past uh, hair washes, uh, we used to uh, do the hair wash uh, like a sensitive hair wash actually, uh, without dropping the planted area and uh, without harming the hair follicles. So now, um, in this hair wash, we are gonna rub this area to uh, remove all the shields out and uh, to make the follicles uh, start growing, uh, started from this day. Um, now you can see, we have the shields and we are gonna start to remove that out. Now first of all, we're gonna cover this uh, the forehead for our patient. <coughs> so as you see, we can move our fingers out. It's no problem to harm the follicles like before we're gonna start to rub like this gently on the planted area and we can observe actually that shields is removing out of the planted area actually this process can maybe take few minutes until all the shields are moving out. During this process also we can use the water and the shampoo. Now she's using the shampoo. Like that. As usual, like you are uh, doing your normal shower rub the area all over the planted area like you see gently we can as I said observe that shields is removing out You can see here the shields is removing out of his head from the planted area. Well, keep doing like that until all the shields is falling out. The most important thing is to uh, not leaving any shields on the planted area. After we finish this wash, it's gonna be also uh, the hair, just the planted hair that we make the transplant on. You can see now the shields is. falling out of his head. Actually after this wash also the patient can be uh, more comfortable because his head is gonna be more color from the past days and he can also take a normal shower from now on he can uh, sleep as he want He can also rub, he can use the towel.
yeah, also from the sides. And see and observe all the shields is falling out one by one. Also some redness actually is under the planted hair and this is normal for in the future I think it's gonna take some time to disappear. I mean the redness in this planted area. This is so normal. Yeah. Again with the shampoo, we are rubbing to make sure that all the shields is removed out. But remember, don't use your fingers with the nails, just your fingers with your palm. Because if uh, we use our nails, we can harm the follicles. So gently like that keep doing that until we make sure that all the shields is out to mention that the first hair wash for the patient is started from his fourth day after the surgery and uh, let's keep doing like that I mean from first to eight hair wash it's like a sensitive hair wash and, uh, keep the lotion about 45 minutes on his head and after that wash it out clean it by the shampoo but this one is different as I told you in the first in this wash the lotion can be just about 20 minutes on the planted area and after that you can wash it like we see Now we're using the water. Guys, it must be um, warm water, not so cold, not so hot. She's now making sure that no shields still on his head. doing that is actually won't harming the follicles because it's already under the scalp so we are in the safe zone now Also, she's rubbing the back area. To clean it up. Yes, now we are finished. You can observe that all the shields is out now. She removed all the shields. You cannot observe only the planted hair. So this is the end of the wash, thank you for watching and